everyone this is Zia Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation so let's get going problem solve d square plus 1 into y equals to sine q x solution firstly let's find the order and degree of the given differential equation given differential equation d square plus 1 into y equals to sine q x. Identify the highest derivative here. d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest degree, sorry, the highest power of the highest derivative. The highest power of the highest derivative is a degree, so degree will be 1. Or just write the given equation as d square y plus 1 into y y equals to sine q x. We know that differential operator d is d by dx. Then d square will be d square by ds, dx square. Then we can write the given equation as d square y by dx square plus y equals to sine q x. Identify the highest derivative here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative so order will be 2 and the highest power of the highest derivative d square y by dx square is the degree so degree is 1 so we are given an equation which is in operator form right we are given in terms of d, which is an operator form, and also it is in f of d into y equals to q form, right? f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square plus 1 and q equals to sine q x. Now we'll find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We'll find yc using rules of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Okay. If you'll take rhs to 0 then you'll get some f of d into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation f of d into y equals to 0 of the given non-homogeneous equation and we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q so firstly let's find the complementary function using the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to m square plus 1. We are having f of d equals to d square plus 1. Just replace this d by m then we will get f of m equals to m square plus 1. Okay. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equals to 0. Now we can find roots in two ways. I'll show you. Firstly, you can write m square plus 1 as m square equals to minus 1. Then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1. You can write this square root of minus 1 as i, right? Since we know that square root of minus 1 equals to i. Then we'll get m equals to plus or minus 1. Imaginary root or Just consider the given or uh, our auxiliary equation. You can write plus 1 as minus of minus 1 equals to 0. Then m square minus. We know that i square equals to minus 1. Then we can replace this minus 1 by i square. So this is in a square minus b square form so we can write it as a plus b into a minus b equate each factor to zero 
from m plus i equals to 0 will get m equals to minus i and from m minus i equals to 0 will get m equals to plus i right so we'll get m equals to minus i and plus i or m equals to plus or minus i simply right so we got m equals to plus or minus i which are the roots of our auxiliary equation which are imaginary roots therefore m equals to plus or minus i are the roots of our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 which are imaginary or complex conjugate if a plus ib is a complex number then the conjugate of this is a minus ib if a minus ib is a complex number then the conjugate of this number will be a plus ib right likewise the conjugate of plus i is minus i and the conjugate of minus i is plus i right since we don't have any real number so we call plus or minus i as directly imaginary root or you can say complex root for real part being zero fine now let's write complementary function We know that when we are given some complex conjugate roots, then the complementary function will be e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? Since real part being 0, this part becomes 0 for us, okay? We have something like Then C1 cos Bx plus C2 sin Bx will be our complementary function. Since e power 0 into x is e power 0, which is 1, right? Now, our complementary function will be C1 cos, you are having i, right? For b equals to 1, x plus C2 sin x. Now we need to find particular integral. We know that particular integral is given by yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. This is equals to 1 by we have f of d d squared plus 1 into q sine q x. Right? We know that sine 3 theta equals to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. Right? Now, bring this minus 4 sine cube theta to LHS, you will get 4 sine cube theta. And take this sine 3 theta to RHS, you will get 4 sine cube theta equals to 3 sine theta minus sine 3 theta. Now take this 4 to RHS, you will get sine cube theta equals to 1 by 4 times 3 sine theta minus sine 3 theta. Then now uh, yp becomes 1 by d square plus 1 into replace sine cube x by 1 by 4 into 3 sin x minus sin 3x. Right? Now we can write this as 
1 by 4 into 1 by d squared plus 1 into terms under this brackets 3 sin x minus sin 3x so is equals to 1 by 4 into 1 by d squared plus 1 into 3 sin x minus 1 by d squared plus 1 into sin 3x. Okay, again we can write this as 1 by 4 into constant into 1 by f of d into sin x minus, this term remains the same, 1 by d squared plus 1 into sin 3x. Let's name 1 by d squared plus 1 into sin x as yp1 and 1 by d squared plus 1 into sin 3x as yp2. Okay, this 1 by 4 into 3 yp1 minus yp2 otherwise. Okay, that's fine. Now let's find yp1, yp2 separately for our convenience. Okay, we don't want to avoid mess. yp1 equals to 1 by d squared plus 1 into sin x. We know that d squared is given by minus a squared. Here we are given yp1 which is in 1 by f of d into sin ax form. Right? For a equals to 1. Then you will find d squared which is given by minus a squared equals to minus for a equals to 1. Then you will get minus 1. Now let's find d squared plus 1 or let's see what happens if we replace this d squared by minus 1. Simply I am writing 1 by f of d into sin x and we will see by replacing d squared by minus 1 you are getting minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 right. Then we will get 1 by 0 into sin x which is undefined. So what we will do? We will just write 1x into 1 by find the derivative of this okay if f of d equals to if f of d equals to d square plus 1 then f dash of d will be 2d plus derivative of constant is 0 which is equals to 2d right you get 2d and also this is not equals to 0 so you can replace in the denominator right or you can write in the denominator. This equals to x by 2 into 1 by d into sin x. We know that if d is a differential operator then 1 by d is inverse of differential operator which is nothing but integration right. Let's find integration. Integral sin x dx which is equal to x by 2 into integral sin x dx is minus cos x. We will get minus x cos x by 2. Now, we got yp1, right? yp1, we go yp1 equals to minus x cos x by 2. Now, let's find yp2. We have yp2 equals to 1 by t square plus 1 into sin 3x, right? Which is in 1 by f of d into sin ax form for a equals to 3. Okay, we have f of d equals to d square plus 1. And we know the formula d square equals to minus a square for a equals to 3, you'll get minus 3 square which is equal to minus 3 3 is a 9. So value of d square is minus 9. Let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 9. Okay. We'll get d square plus 1 equals to minus 9 plus 1 which is equal to minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8 which is not equal to 0. 
right? So now we can replace d squared since it is not equals to 0. Replace d square by minus a square which is equal to minus 3 square equals to minus 9. Then you'll get 1 by replace d square by minus 9. Okay, we are writing the same steps. Equals to 1 by minus 8 into sine 3x which is equal to you can just write 1 by minus 8 as minus 1 by 8 into sine 3x. Therefore, yp2 equals to minus 1 by 8 sine 3x. We are having yp1 and yp2, right? Now we can replace yp1 and yp2 in yp, right? We have 1, yp equals to 1 by 4 into 3, yp1 minus yp2, right? In short, we wrote 1 by 4 into 3, yp1 minus yp2 for our convenience, right? We wrote like this. Now let's replace yp1 and yp2. We have yp1 is minus x cos x by 2 minus yp2 is minus 1 by 8 sine 3x. Then this becomes 1 by 4 into minus 3x cos x. 3 into minus x cos x by 2 is 3x cos x by 2. Right? Minus into minus plus 1 by 8 sine 3x. Which is equals to 1 by 2 into minus 3 by, better I'll write. 1 by 2 into minus 3 by 2 into x cos x c i wrote minus 3x cos x by 2 as 3 minus 3 by 2 into x cos x plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 8 into sine 3x. This becomes 1 by 4 into minus 3 by 2 is Minus 3 by 4 to the 8 into x cos x plus 1 by 4 x are 32 into sine 3 x. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp then y equals to we have yc c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus yp is minus 3 by 8 x cos x plus 1 by 32 sin 3x So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.